And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Vi. This is going to be a Targon PNZ deck that is going to focus on elusives and of course the most important of those being our champion Zoe. Y'all have probably been playing against a whole lot of Zoe decks recently. It's just a, a really great card with that Nexus Strike creating the super cool star charts allowing you to get some different... Um, some different celestial cards with the invoking. So we're going to be combining that with gems in this version. We're going to have Mount, both Mountain Goat and Mench of the Stones um, that are going to be able to create gems. Also the Mountain Goat, or sorry, the Mench of the Stones support will be able to buff up our elusives. For our elusives, we're going to have the Zoe and we're going to have a couple Sparkle Fly and a Lunari Shade Stalker. Um, and then we're also going to have for our other top end is or our other champion, I guess, is going to be Vi, where Vi can get very large in power, you know, get up to being a 10-4, and if we have gems or anything else, we can make that even more, which Vi is, so Vi can do a lot of things for us. It can, you know, kind of control the board, being removal for champions and things like that, being a nice sticky threat that's hard to get rid of. But since, you know, we're going to be focusing on elusives, we're also going to have Sumpworks map to pair with the Vi, where Sumpworks map can make the Vi you know, since the Vi can have a whole lot of power, make it a very large elusive and finish the game very quickly. Now we want other things for our Sumpworks map to do if we don't have Vi. So it, we're also, we also got Ballistic Bot in here. It's going to be creating the ignitions, which are going to be extra spells, which, you know, is good for the Zoe, but then also extra spells are good for um, cycling through whenever we have like Zonite Urchin and Spacey Sketcher. But then also if we're just if we're just casting ignitions or other created cards, like our other cards like gems that are created or the invoke cards, Ballistic Bot can also get a whole lot of power. But it, you know, that doesn't really matter too much if they just have any kind of blocker for your ballistic bot, even if even if you can grow the power. But that's again where our Sumpworks maps comes in. So you know if we have like an eight power ballistic bot, we could Sumpworks map that as well. So we have two different really good targets for Sumpworks map. Suit up's going to be some good protection or um, a good way to make these elusives bigger, like maybe your Sparkle Fly or your Zoe. Those should work pretty well with Suit Up. And then besides that, we got Removal with Aftershock, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam. We have good interaction with Hush, Pale Cascade. Um, so our, our deck, that's that's basically our deck. It looks like it should be pretty good, pretty low to the ground uh, for the most part. Most everything costing one to two mana or zero to two mana, I guess. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked with Zoe Vi. Alright, looks like we're playing some Spider Aggro. So this will be a race. I kind of like this hand. It's not... It's not like a hand that I just like throw down... You know, I don't just... I don't think I'm just going to play like Spacey Sketcher on turn one, Shade Stalker on turn two, Mentor on turn three. We're going to kind of play it a little bit slower. Try to make sure we get the Nightfall turned on here. Nightfall for the Pale Cascade. But it's good cheap cards. We got the new Guardian. Ellie or whatever the elephant's name is. The Moon Silver is interesting. If I take Moon Silver, I could play Mentor the Stones this turn also. But I think I'm just going to be playing the Shade Stalker. Uh, next turn, I can have like Charger and Mentor the Stones. Darkness hides in my path. For truth. So we're doing one extra damage, but I just want to get rid of that thing. Ah, I was thinking maybe Black Spear. No. 
bunch of little spiders for their spider aggro. It's an odd time to cast that brother's bond. Maybe I should just be playing the Mentor and then just one mana Thermogenic Beam right here instead of playing this card. Alright, so I was kind of planning on playing Vi, but yeah, now we're going to do this. And then they play something else and I Thermogenic Beam that and then attack. Or I can attack, I can Pale Cascade my Charger so it doesn't die to this. Okay, never mind. I will die to that either way. It's a 5 1. We'll just get rid of the 5 3. And we'll just trade. So we'll end up with. Like, you know, assuming they block my 6 3. Which maybe they don't. But assuming they do that. They take 6 total damage, go down to 13, so 12 and 13. Um, they have 3 cards, and I have 3 also, but one of my 3 is the Mentor Stones in play. So I like where we're at. We have some pretty good cards. Really powerful wizard. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Keeping that sub going. How many months now? Ten months? Wow, that is so many months. Thank you so much. Our first sub of the day. Okay, so I could keep that alive with Pale Cascade, but then I'm not drawing a card. I think I just let that happen and play the Vi. I'm doing this my way. Does mean that I don't have, like, I only have Vi for, for blocking right now. I don't have these sp spells available. Okay, good. Ooh. That Sparklefly is awesome. We can use these gems on the Sparklefly. So let's use two gems. Uh, well, I'm, I was thinking like two gems would let me keep both of these available, but I guess I want to level up Vi, so I guess I'm going to use three gems because I do want to level up Vi. Whoa. That was not a good choice. Yeah, not a good choice at all. They should be killing my Sparklefly with that. I guess they didn't realize how tough was going to work. Because the Vi has four health, it only takes two from the Fervor and then an additional one from the 2 1. Okay. Alright, yeah, not hiccup, I'll finish this game out. And then. Answer that. If I fall, so be it. So be it. We're gonna just uh, have this mountain goat trade. I can use Hush to not take two damage, but that doesn't really matter with having the Sparkle Fly. And I'll wait till next turn, of course, to gem in case we would draw a Nightfall card, a.k.a. Pill Cascade. That should be 10. There we go. Five from the Sparkle Fly, five from the Vine. And that's a knockout. 
All right, looks like our next matchup, we got Lee Sin with Tarek. Okay. That's a pretty cool little combination. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Sparkle Fly and keep the rest. I like the Ballistic Bot on turn two. I don't think we really need like the, the Lifesteal ability of the Sparkle Fly for this matchup. Oh, predictions, yes. I guess the person who usually does the predictions in chat isn't here. Okay, so it looks like I, I was kind of wrong about... <laughs> about keeping my own sparkle fly. So now I can I could Sumpworks map my ballistic bot right now and make it a two three and block, but then I I would not really want to do that against Gale Cascade. I actually kinda just want to play this mentor the stones. Can you improve perfection? So I wanna have Pill Cascade on the Mentor of the Stones. Cause I wish I could play Mystic Shoddy and Pill Cascade. Both. That's enticing. It's intriguing. Yeah, we went 14 and 1 yesterday, and also the day before, we finished with scouts with a 5 0 the day before. So, can put those together. So, we were 19 and 1 in our last 20 games, and then we just won this one. So, we're. 20 and 1 now in the last 21 games. So I go Mystic again. They have Pale Cascade. Celestial power. I think this is better for me because now now if they pale cascade their um sparkle fly then i have one mana thermogenic beam ah uh, that was the worst case scenario though was hush now obviously i don't get the gems either that was the worst case scenario but i did the best play against pale cascade I bring clarity. This isn't good mana for me, but killing Tarek is just really, like, that's very important. Again, I don't want them double pale cascading and double drawing the cards. I know that's that's rough on my mana, but it's just it's just the correct way. I taste purple. Yay. Played two cards so far. Yeah, they're all about that lifesteal. about that lifesteal. So that's... So they've drawn all the Zenith Blades. They they made a mistake, though, playing the Zenith Blade I didn't know about instead of playing the Zenith Blade I do know about. That's something you kind of have to keep track of while you are playing. Um, our Zoe's at four. Can you improve perfection? 
Ancient. Yep, that's number five. I know I could self works map and block, but just gonna hold off on that. Extend your senses. Hmm. I feel like it'd be difficult to set up that thermal giant beam killing the least in, but maybe not. We've seen them play one hush so far. Because I don't really want them to hush and kill my Zoe. I've already played a Pale, Cas a Pale Cascade counts towards counted towards one of my cards though. I could like leave Zoe back to keep but I think I was just supposed to attack with everything. Their heartbeats quicken. This would put them to zero. And there we go, put them to zero. All right, DGs. Discard burn is always tough to beat. Discard burn's very good. I kind of like this hand. I like all these cards. I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm not sure about like the the Mystic Shot. This would be this is really good against Arena Battlecaster. I want Aftershock for both of their champions. Killing Draven and Jinx is very important. Vi also good at controlling the board later on. And then we got the Mountain Goat in here too. They're just so aggressive. Um, but, uh, so I know I could play this, the Sketcher on turn one, but I don't want to do that uh, because one, I didn't really want to discard any of these cards, but then two, I want to have four mana on turn three for this Aftershock. Because, right, like, they go Draven on turn three, I go Aftershock. Right, like, that's going to be important. The party has arrived. All right, so I block. They, you know, they go spinning axe discard. If they have vision, that's kind of a bad block for me. I could, I could also just take three, and then immediately, you know, just attack back. So they have to use this spinning axe on their blocking turn. Take one more point of damage. That's better against vision. That I'm not like taking that extra damage against a vision. So they can still use that spinning axe right here, but if they do have spinning axe vision, I don't know. They don't. They're not just. Um, okay, so it was spinning axe that thing. Um. Okay. I was scared of Jinx. Right there, I wanted to have Aftershock for Jinx. Um. 
Time for the main event. I guess I should have led with Zoe though to get to start going for the ten towards the ten cards. Gem. Gravity. Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. So I, I think that like open attack they're gonna have like the you know the the two flame chompers challenge those things. Axes coming right up. Oh yeah, the invoke cards are great. Yeah, chargers. Yeah, chargers an awesome card. Playing charger with like, uh, with the grand plaza, making it a five two overwhelm. Challenger for one mana. Be so That's something that <clears throat> I always forget. I want to build that. I want to build Zoe, Zoe Plaza, with like these super cheap celestial cards with Grand Plaza. Meanwhileer with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that support, there, Meanwhileer. Our third sub of the day. I was behind one. We just had not hiccup. And a really powerful wizard also. Okay, so my plan. I am going to... Push Draven and block there. And block here. Would Tomasi Chap with Zoe be good with? Heck, all of them. <laughs> like, I mean, Fiora sounds great. <clears throat> you know, Garen, Giovanna, Quinn. You know, Quinn would give like all your stuff scout. You had to leveled up. I know that's not a good trade for Zoe, but this kind of matchup, right? Like, we should just trade and not take damage and stuff. I know it's not like, you know, Zoe's also just a one mana one one. It's not like it's going to be able to attack through this Daring Pour unless I use a whole bunch of removal on them. So there is that vision. They did have that the whole time. Vi stands for Vicious. So we've killed a couple of Dravens so far. Jinx is the card I'm the most scared of. I'm going to pass here. I don't want to attack, and then they play Jinx after combat. I want to have this Aftershock now to kill Jinx. Jinx? Yep, they did have Jinx. So they wanted me to attack. So the the non-attack was the right call by me. They wanted me to attack, and then they were going to play Jinx. And that was going to be bad for me. Like I said, this could flip in their favor very quickly. Top deck another Jinx or an Augmented Experimenter. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. I hope not. As, as long as they don't draw Jinx or Augmented Experimenter, I feel pretty good about our chances. Um, or just like, yeah, because yeah, they can't get excited right now. Hopefully it's just like a little two mana two two, like an arena ba arena battle caster or something like that. Uh, 
All right. No jinx, no augmented experimenter. Mine stands for victory. That was key. Us, my like, really, why I won that game is that turn six is where I won that game by playing Vi because their hand was augmented experimenter and jinx. That was their hand. I played Vi, so they didn't want to throw down jinx first, and so then I pass, and so now they draw get excited. So their hand is those three. They play the jinx. I go to kill Jinx, and then they have to get excited and discard their Augmented Experimenter to level it up, and then we still kill the Jinx, and now they're out of gas. That sequence is where we won that game. Alright, we're back to playing this same spider deck before, same opponent that we played a little bit ago. What, what decks are Karma best in right now? I like Karma Lux. I don't know, we played a Karma Lux deck the other day that was good. That's up on the YouTube channel, Yobla. Look look for the last videos. Last, It's like one of the last four or five videos. Okay, this hand is not very good. We had a good hand the last time with this. We're going to mulligan all these and keep the Vi. I could honestly just see... Actually, you know what? Let's just mulligan the Vi also just to... Okay, there we go. Look look for some, some cheaper stuff, cheaper interaction. Alright, there we go out here. And I'm glad we mulligan the vibe. We got another one anyway. I pull the strings. This would be a good trade for us. It will all be over soon. Yeah, the goat is such a good card, isn't it? Targon has some really good cards. Now we got that gem that enables our Zonite Urchin. Come closer. I don't fight. I know I'd like to play Zoe first before we play other spells, but now we can play Zoe. We must all make sacrifices. Ooh. No. Let's do it over there. <clears throat> All right, got to kill this Elise. They may have another lease. Maybe that's what they're saying with the GGs. Yep. I pull the strings. My true beauty is beneath the skin. So that's not great. But the game's not over. I could save Zoe, but then I'm not I'm not drawing a card with the Pale Cascade. No. I'm sorry, Zoe, you're just gonna go. I think this just works better. Mystic Shot here right now, and then Thermogenic Beam. That thing after combat. I guess now I could Pale Cascade and draw a card. Still now. This just works pretty well for me. Yeah, Zoe was a good top deck there, fitting in our curve very very nicely. Time. 
Some good glimpse beyonds. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at the the prismatic cards too much. The question was, what are like the what are the best looking prismatic champions? I don't know. Because right now you don't have the option to turn off prismatics, so if you if you do get a prismatic, you have to use it. And I I want all my cards to look the same, so I either want like all of my cards, in my deck to be prismatic, or none of them to be prismatic. I don't like the have some prismatic, have some not myself, and so I haven't really focused on trying to get any prismatics right now. Um, once you can turn them off, then then I will you know start to build a prismatic collection more, and then you know have that option of turning them on or off. You know, so I could get like a prismatic Vi, for example, but not use it. Um. Ugh. Let's get to the what's in here. You're so much tinier than my space doggy. Yeah, and so that's that's something that's in the works. They they did say whenever they implemented the prismatics. That was a change they wanted to do, but it's just not, it's not available yet. Alright, so my plan is to have Messenger block 4-2, Vi block 5-3, and I guess Zoe block a 3-1, or I just take... Take six. Tell it to the fists. So next turn, so you know this is gonna be twelve power. I guess it'll be like eleven power, eleven power that I get to Sumpworks map. So I'm not gonna kill them next turn. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill them next turn. We'll see. Hopefully, I don't die. I mean, because I, I worry about decimates, right? Like, if you have like two decimates, you know, a decimate, a fervor, or something else. I don't know. I, I, we'll see if not blocking with the Zoe works out, but I'm a little worried about that. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. So yeah, I can't have lethal. So I think it it does kind of make sense to have Vi challenge instead of just going some perks map hitting them for ten. Because we still hit him for five anyway, but we could take out an attacker. That's obviously very good for me, because that's a card that could be doing Nexus damage that's not. So I'm pretty happy about that. Maybe I should, maybe I should just attack immediately with the support the Vi. Obviously, now I wish I would have just attacked immediately with support the Vi. Go, floaty crystals, for truth. Freeze. But still. You know, I'm I'm happy like I'm still very happy with how this turn turned out. Getting rid of a noxion fervor and now a frenzied skitter. Still quite satisfied how that turn turned out. I'm taking this thing because it's a 3-3 and it can block an elusive. The other two don't block elusives. Or not a loser, sorry, fearsome. Fearsome. Alright, so about the only way I lose is like frenzied skitters again, so I'm I'm gonna wait on this trickster. Just gonna pass here. Like this, we still have good blocks. I stand for Noxus. Crowd favorite. All right. So 
they can't play Frenzied Skitter now. Nuxian strength. Tell it to the fists. Vi stands for vicious. Now they're all elusive, tough challengers, and we'll make um, we'll make the Vi elusive as well. And there we go. We are four and zero. Oh, Zoe Vi. And that's a knockout. Good morning, Kinkles. Draven Swain. We'll start the prediction here. Well, this is a pretty good looking hand. I definitely, definitely keeping the first three cards, Zoe, Mountain Goat, Aftershock. It's just, do I keep second Mountain Goat is kind of the question. Um, and I'm not sure. That one, that one I'm not sure about. I kind of see it either way. I guess I'll just mulligan it, but, um, you know, it's not like I dislike that card. One thing about this hand, if I do play Zoe on one, Mountain Goat on two, I don't get to Aftershock a Draven on three. But the, that's the bad news. The good news is they don't have the attack token on three. Okay, that means no Draven. So that's good for me. Once I said papers, now faces. Prime and ready. So I'm keeping the four mana to be able to kill a Draven, plus then I'll have like one mana for Urchin. Alright, I'll just kill this thing. also seems important to kill. But now, in, instead of discarding the gem, we'll discard that uh, fleeting card. Boo. Worst case scenario for me. That three two. Especially if that's combined with ravenous walks, which it always is. So the good news is they're down to three cards. That's the good news. That's what. Vi does. Eats up a lot of cards. The kind of bad news is my hand's not great. Okay, we'll mentor a mentor that, that mentors the bot.
All right, now are we going Pale Cascade to save this Mentor or Mystic Shot to save it? I'm gonna go Mystic Shot. Basically, really, it's you know like the the eight mana cards that from how this game's played out, like this looks good for us, except for just you know like Leviathan and and Captain Baron and that kind of stuff can um, can just be worth so many cards. But as long as they don't have those eight mana cards, this looks really good for me. Oh no, did they did they disconnect? We were playing such a good game. We were playing such a good game. Man, that was such a good game. They disconnected. I, I think that we were going to win because, like, so, you know, I was going to have, like, space. Even if they had, like, Leviathan on turn eight, we, we drew the Spacey Sketcher. So I was going to discard Gem and look for Equinox. And, you know, like, we grab Equinox and then silence it. And then, you know, we drew this Thermogenic Beam that would be able to do, like, a whole bunch of damage anyway also. So I, I like our chances here. But obviously it's just no contest now. They disconnected. I don't think that's a rage quit. I think I think that's a disconnection. Yeah, they may they may reconnect. Paint is just accidental okay, so I would not have found Equinox. And I guess I could have gone for lethal with the Pill Cascade Aftershock. But I'm doing what, what I would play normal you know, how we'd normally play. If they were here. Well that's unfortunate. Unfortunate way to end. GG's. So wow, that's not the not the ending that we wanted on that last game, but you don't always get what you wanted. But we did get what we wanted with all five wins yet again. That is crazy. We are on a, an insane hot streak here on stream. Uh, going back going back to the scout deck where we went 5-0 with scouts, and then we went 5-0 with Heimer Vi. And then we went 5-0 with Shivana Dragons. And then we went 4-1 yesterday. We were 4-0, lost the very last one um, last night with the Garen Draven deck where we had a, a bad mulligan against Discard Burn that had a fast hand. So we lost that one. And then another 5-0 again here with Zoe Vi. So that's five decks in a row where we only had one total loss, 24-1 in, in our last 25 games. That's insane. That's so crazy. Uh, the... Uh, the hot streak that we have been on with these different decks. Um, but yeah, this one, this was just another good deck here with uh, Zoe and Vi. I really liked how this this whole deck played out. You know, like I think that we had just a bunch of good cheap cards and, and um, you know, got to put some good pressure on our opponent, but still played good defense as well. Had our Aftershock, our Mystic Shot um, being some removal spells. Uh, our created card, like our gems, Creating, you know, being created cards were good with like our Sketcher and our Urchins. Um, we got to even level up Zoe a couple of times. Um, and then Vi was awesome. You know, Vi was just good removal, just kept the board down, really slowed down our opponents while our elusives got the job done. So overall, just overall, the deck worked out really well. I liked everything about it. Um, so there we go. And, you know, like we had, we kind of like had, had some different things switch up. Like instead of playing like three sparkle flies, right? We have two sparkle flies and one Lunari shade stalker, um, having like the one nightfall card, it's a lot easier to turn on than whenever you have like a whole bunch of Lunari shade stalkers and they can kind of all get stuck in your hand and it's hard to get the nightfall, um, bonus. It's a lot easier to, to have the nightfall bonus when you don't have as many. And also splitting up cards is good for Zoe because right, you want to play cards with different names with Zoe. So it is kind of good to play more ones and two ofs and stuff like that when you're playing a zoe deck all right but that's it here for zoe vi so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button leave those comments let me know what you think of this streak uh, if you've been playing any of these decks that we've been playing that have had all the success let me know in the comment section those comments really do mean a lot and i always appreciate them 
All right, but that's it here for Zoe Vi. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.